Hey everybody, it is Billy at Be Tough Man. I got something different today. We're gonna do something different. It's not the reefs, it's not the trucks. We're gonna do something different here. Now I get a lot of people, I do videos here on YouTube and a lot of times people will step up. I've heard them say it. They'll say that guy behind the camera, he's never been around cars his whole life, dude. This guy doesn't know anything about cars. Well, this video is for those people and I'm gonna do something kind of unique. We're gonna go, I gotta race them or set. I'm doing here in a couple days. I'm actually gonna go there. I gotta do some work. I'm gonna take you guys behind the scene. I got some changes I'm gonna be doing to the sport model. I'll show you that in a second. But um, yeah, I just wanna do this video. I think it's worth doing it. And uh, I'll take you guys along on a race weekend. We're gonna do some changes. We'll see if it worked. Cars kind of, nah, so I won the heat race last time at Bakersfield in the main event. It was about a mid-pack car. We'll get into that. We're gonna do some changes here. And if you are a racer, maybe you'll find some stuff that we're doing here that you can use on your race car and uh, so yeah let's get into it man let's have fun we got some fabrication to do we got a lot of things we're gonna be doing here and we'll go over that all right man let's get into it let's do some dirt track racing all right if you are not familiar with modifieds dirt modifieds i'll give you a quick glimpse of what this car is this is called a uh, northern sport mod uh it is basically a 602 crate motor you can run an open motor i run a crate in this the gm crate you can get it down at gm for like 3800 bucks uh 350 horsepower and kind of like a, a a modified imca a modified a little bit more restrictions on the rear end we can't run quick changes uh stock transmissions we can run a muncie or a Sagnaw, and uh yeah so has a three link suspension and we're going to be working on that today look at some of the changes we're going to do so this is called the panar bar right here and uh, run about seven inches in it and dip spread between uh, the left side and the right. Um, I think I'm going to lower this bar down here. And uh, the lower that you bring the Panar bar to the track, the more that it feels like the car is dug into the track. The problem is that you can kind of bog down the car a little bit if it's too much. But I still, I think it's got too much. Um, I just think it's too much. So I'm gonna lower it, I'm gonna to try to level it down. I'm also gonna shorten it up a little bit. I put a longer bar in that Panar bar and uh, I just think it makes it lazy getting up. It kind of slows things down a little bit, but it makes the car lazy getting up on the bars or planting the right rear as fast as it needs to. I'm here at Victory Circle in Bakersfield, California. This place puts out some of the nicest cars on the left coast. They have some uh, really big wins under their belt. In fact, they just had Kyle Heckman win the Bristol Dirt IMCA race at Bristol, you know, they changed that track to dirt. That car is from here, Victory Circle. It's a really cool place to have, and it's located right here where I live in Bakersfield, California. I'm gonna get in there, get my parts, and I gotta get back there and fabricate that uh, Panar Bar pickup because I got I gotta get this thing done, man, because I'm gonna try to put this thing on the scales. I gotta do it all tonight. So let's get in there, let's get our parts, and let's get back to the shop. Man, that's a real nice piece here. They put out really nice cars here. It's gonna be a sport mod. They build a lot of sport mods and A mods here. That's real nice. Got a new one over here. It's like just been powder coated. Got the parts here on the ground. So here I am at the rack and it looks, I was hoping they'd have half inch increments. I need the big one because for the Panar bar, right? So they got a 20. So I'm probably gonna have to cut that back a little bit and then thread it. Okay, we got our parts. Let's go get some inch and a half box, head back to the shop and put it together. All right, well, we are set up. We have our new Panar bar pickup on the chassis mounted in. A little bit stronger uh, than what we had before. It's gonna be a good deal. Hopefully it fits, I think it will. So let's get it all buttoned up and let's see where we are. Hopefully we're close. We got this project done, a little bit longer than I thought because I had to relocate the mount on the rear inside, but I got what I was looking for. And that is, um, got the shorter bar back in 23. That's our minimum. And then I was also able to lower the whole bar down a little bit more than I had before. And generally when you lower the bars down, it makes it feel like it's in the track a little bit more. A lot of times people feel like they're on top of the track and by lowering the whole bar down, that will help. This is going to be a tricky deal that I did not want to have to deal with on race day right there and you can see as the car how screwed up it gets as the car like see how bound up that is so definitely have to fix that not what i wanted to do today you can see right now this kind of represents the static position and you can see it's it's kind of cheated to the back right well when these cars roll through the corners 
that left uh, rear will drop and this side compresses and this angle of this bar pushes pushes this this wheel right here back, right? So I think one of the things I was probably having a problem with too is a little bit of coil bind because if you line it up level here, well, when the rear end goes back this way, all of a sudden the spring's all kinked in there, right? So I'm gonna cheat it a little bit to the back and that's gonna make it so when the car rolls through the corner, it's leveled a little bit better. Yeah, a lot of people measure their ride heights in different locations, but a good rule of thumb is just to measure it off the front A-arm bolt right in the middle. Um, Probably about seven on the right front, eight on the left front is a good place to be. I do get to eat a little bit before we get on the road and go smash it up, but a little ahead of schedule so far. I'm surprised. Yeah, me what too. happened? Nothing. Yeah. We're all good. <laughs> don't don't point anything out, I'll have to fix it. A little late, but we made it. And uh, we'll get the hot laps in. Got a good start in the heat race. So, a lot of cars, packed house. I was lucky, man. Came in here, dude, and the spot was open, man. I'm stoked, because everything else is full. So, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, we got some new stuff here. I've, I haven't ran this stuff before. Hopefully it turns. That's what I'm worried about, is it turning. So, we'll find out, though. We're gonna know pretty quick. Here comes Nicole, looking all good at the racetrack. What she likes to do is look good. There she is. man well we had a chance to get it out there and try all the stuff that we're doing and i can tell you that so far so really good it was a really good car i mean the thing what i like about it is that when you get in the gas it turns and that's one thing on these sport mods that you know they have a tendency to get on the gas and be tight hopefully everything pounds out and um, we can keep going on this and seeing what it does all right man let's keep let's keep the momentum going Won the heat car really good um, definite improvements on the car tire temps are the same temp across the back that's good right and uh it just has a tremendous amount of drive you know through the corner a little snug on the entry and I, that might be a little bit from me overdriving it in of course i was tailed pretty good fred ryland number two spot he's probably one of the faster guys here he is one of the faster guys here so um Little room for improvement, a little free on the entry, but I think the track's gonna tighten up, so I don't wanna do too many changes, but everything that we did, everything that we've talked about, definitely makes a difference as far as going faster through the corner. Through the corner, right? Because you go through the corner faster, you go down the straightaway faster. We're gonna let Nicole pull the pill. It's the starting spot, top 12. Not bad, dude. A three. Which 
First caution came out felt kind of weird on that restart on our first restart back it wasn't the same car i knew something was going on but i didn't know what it was and then it just was absolutely god awful you know after lap lap two not the finish we wanted right i mean we, we learned that what you did worked. oh yeah that's super fast super fast i mean we got a flat tire but lap one or two one or two we were in we were third yeah i mean but it was like well, i had about a lap of like real race car yeah, it just started going south real fast. But it is what it is, man. That's racing, dude. Sometimes the dice roll with you and sometimes they don't. But we definitely figured something out. I think a lot of the work we did made the car faster. And that's what it's all about. We'll go to the next race. And uh, yeah, we'll go to the next race, man. So anyway, thanks for joining us. I wanted to kind of show a little something different with Bakersfield Tough. You know, a lot of people come on here and they don't know who I am. And uh, sometimes things can be said. They don't really know, you know, who we are or what we are. But Maybe this will give people an idea of what we do. And uh, anyway, we'll do other, we're gonna get back to other videos too. And if there's enough interest in this stuff, I'll start doing more racing stuff. And uh, oh, whatever, dude, I don't, you know, if you guys like it, I'll do it. If it's too inside baseball, I won't. I mean, that's what it is. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being part of this. This is Billy at, and Nicole at, oh, by the way, Nicole, you have your own channel you just started. It's a yeah. trivia channel. It's called Be Smart Trivia. And we're gonna, she's gonna blow that up. It's gonna be a bunch of trivia questions you can play your friends with and all that stuff. So anyway, there's that. Thanks for joining us. Back to Baco. Back to Baco we go. All right.